but this is gender roles and i believe i fully believe in gender roles men are the one pursuing women i'm yeah. not pursuing a man i agree with that like i always you said, said. It's, it's, go ahead I'm sorry. no 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 I, I i agree with that like if you guys are looking this is what men are looking for one me a woman you know old school all that good stuff what did your grandfather and your great great grandfather did while your mom was home making sure the kids are good mm -hmm. and you made sure she didn't have any worries don't come in here talking about 50 50 and then uh you want me to be uh feminine to you go sit down mm -hmm. period and that and i don't blame men right because honestly it's hard today mm -hmm. economically the average income in the u.s is like what fifty thousand dollar a year Ouch. so i don't blame men that you can't provide fully for the household but at the same time if that's the case you're gonna have to be a partner you're gonna have to help me mm -hmm. out you're gonna have to bring uh, wash dishes sometimes baby like you can't be diapers. out here wanting to be the macho masculine man and you can't fully provide and you can't fully, you know, like be that traditional man. Then how can you ask me to be a fully traditional woman if I have to go to work from nine to five mm -hmm. and then come home and deal and deal with deal with you and potentially mm -hmm. the kids? That's yeah. not fair. Yeah, that is not. But see, that's why I feel like I've been able to be in such a long relationship because mm -hmm. I feel like my man brings that. In, in the relationship, like if I come home from work and he needs to, the dishes needs to be done, he'll he'll do it with no problem. Like I don't have to ask him to pick up around the house, like he'll just do it. Because uh -huh. we both know it's like 50-50. So like mm -hmm. we both go to work, we both Ryan. have two dogs, we don't have kids. Mm -hmm. um, and we take care of the dogs and you know, do our part on both ends, so. But y'all are both the breadwinners Yeah, here. we're both That's the, the thing, females are now Half being the breadwinners right. in the situation whether it be right. more or just as much i mean you're still working mm -hmm. you're working mm -hmm. just as hard mm -hmm. and you're coming home being expected to do that and some and right. take care of the kids and take care of the house mm -hmm. i want to know can the guy be feminine and you pull the masculinity out of him like you guys are saying like oh he has to yes. make me feminine yeah so when you meet a guy you keep it like oh hey girl blah that's, blah blah but that doesn't no, mean nah, that doesn't mean femininity that means he's gay i don't think you guys think femininity is about look talk and it's about really mentality and action mm -hmm. yeah. like you need to show me like just as a woman for me the way i show love i love is physical touch mm -hmm. like i'm gonna get into that feminine side of me where i want to make sure you're okay i'll cater to you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and same thing for a man right. you just don't it's not high girl he can be a high girl but listen i leader yeah like i'm mm -hmm. right there with you mm -hmm. i'm Wait, sitting right next to you so yeah that's what i'm asking you so you, yeah. he's not a leader he's a beta when he meets you but you make him masculine does that sound right because that's what you're saying in reverse not really i mean if he's a beta he's a beta like he's not going to be my type of person and if she's Correct. masculine she's masculine but that's not a protection for him you tell me a beta beta is not a protection beta is just him being it's him. just him being him i'm I, i'm an alpha by protection but originally i'm a feminine woman i want to be feminine uh -huh. no, it's a protection if yeah you it's a protection, protection putting your guards up to protect yourself against these f boys out here exactly. in the street like exactly. that's the thing i think it's a scam i think i think soft gray era is really a scam because guess what there was a whole push last year for girls to be more feminine for girls to be more in their soft gray era and guess what the men have not been getting more masculine i tell you that <laughs> so guess what <laughs> The girls are getting more feminine, more soft, and guess what? They're getting used, they're getting exploited. Mm -hmm. and, and now we're seeing girls posting, yo, this is a scam because guess what? I went into my soft girl era, I'm being feminine, I'm being submissive, I'm letting the guy lead the situation, and guess what? I'm still getting played. It's the same concept as when they say, oh, settle for a yeah. guy who you think you're better than because you think he's going to treat you good. It yeah. don't work like that. He's either masculine yeah. or he's not. He's either the one for you or he's not because you... I done it before. You give an ugly yeah. dude a chance, who you Do think you look better than, bro. He, <laughs> like, <ew. laughs> if you ever been, yo, if you get played by somebody uh, like that, a waste of body. Damn, because then <laughs> they start thinking, they start thinking they're the cute one in the equation. Okay. Yes, and, and I you was know like, what I think it is, Lisa, Lisa. I think our generation, as again, it's new, starting dating again. In our generation, I see that people think they have options. They really think it's green. And the social media and does like, that. Yeah, I think you have like, your options. If you don't go sit mm -hmm. down, nobody wants your headache self. Not everyone wants you. You may find you someone that will really like love you enough to deal with you, but there's not options. Like they, I think that's the issue.